we are starting this week off with a bang. We're hitting lower body today. So your legs should feel better by Thursday and Friday. Uh, today's workout, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move between a variety of four minute sets. We're going to do some four minute Tabata timing, which is that 2010, and we're gonna do those with bands. Then directly after that, we'll hit an EMOM every minute on the minute, and we're gonna do that with weights and plyometrics. The plyometrics, don't worry if, if that's too much impact, I will give you a zero impact option. So don't worry about that. Then we'll go back to the Tabata and then back to EMOM. We're gonna work through those sets going back to back. Today's workout, all you need is a loop band. I'm gonna use a kettlebell, but feel free to grab some dumbbells. You really probably only need one heavier um, or medium size weight. If you feel better using two for like uh, reverse lunges, feel free to grab a little bit lighter weights for those. Just gather up that stuff. We're gonna hop right in here because I'm going to try to get this done quickly today because I know you are busy. All right, we are going to work hard, just like I said, because I know you're busy today. So we're gonna try to get this workout done pretty quickly, but that means we have to work pretty hard. All right, our first warm-up set is just going to be, our timing is going to be 40, 30, 20. So we're gonna start out with those tap back kicks and we'll switch it halfway and then I'll tell you what comes up next. All right, so get ready. Three, two, one. We're Exercise just one. doing this set once. So try to get a decent pace on these tap back kicks. We're warming these legs up, but we are also stretching them out, getting our heart rate up. So we're doing those tap back kicks. Good job. Switch sides. We only have a 10 second break here, and then we're gonna do knee ups. We're gonna try to really get those legs moving, get that heart rate up. So try to make those Tap back kicks, those knee ups, all of those low impact cardios, speedy, right? Yes. Now we've got knee ups. <clears throat> Try to get a decent pace here. We're trying to get that heart rate up and ready to work. Three, get ready. Two, one. And start. Exercise two. Great job. We'll switch it halfway. Switch. Try to be speedy on the switch. Now after this, we get a 10 second break. We're gonna go back through 20 seconds of mountaintop squat. Three, two, one. Break, Press. we're gonna do 20 seconds of mountaintop squats. Mountaintop squats, I'm coming down, I'm touching inside, straight up, arms all the way up, back Three, down, fast two, as you can. One. Start, so try to keep those, that chest upright. All the way up, all the way down. We get a little longer break in between this set and the next one. Awesome. Three, two, one. Breaks. We're gonna go back to those tap back kicks. Get a nice long 20 second break here. So make sure you're working for it during the work period. Almost ready to start again. Start with those tap back kicks. We only do this at two times. So this is our last Three, run through. Two, one. And start. Exercise one. Great job. Awesome. Try to really get a little bit of extension on that leg. We're switch sides. We're stretching out that leg. While we go, we have knee ups next. See, the easier exercise is the tap back kick of the three. So we do that the longest. Three, two, one, rest. Knee ups, a little bit harder, but not as hard as mountain tops fast. See how the time gets shorter as the exercise gets a little harder. Exercise two. Knee ups. Try to keep that pace fast. Great job. Actually, I'm going slow. Hopefully you're going faster than I am. So besides, I'm thinking about the workout. I'm already on to set one. Great job. Keep that core tight, back flat. Hopefully you have your music going. Two, one. All right, break. Last set of mountaintop squats. Then we're 
Grabbing our band, heading right into set one. Like I said, I want to make you guys um, work pretty hard, but get a nice workout in so you can get about your week. I know it's a busy week. Hey, get in right here. Last 10 seconds, a little faster. Go, go, go. You got it. Fast you can. Great job, real quick. Before we hit that, um, the band set, hinge forward, knees are soft, my toes are facing outward a little bit, get at that about a hip width apart, hinge forward, lean down, stretch out, grab those ankles, and let's get down in that squat. We wanna make sure our heels are pushed into the ground. Try not to let your heels come up like that. Heels pressed into the ground, use those elbows to open that up. Get a nice stretch there. Stay here a second. Now slowly walk your hands behind you and drop those knees down. I'm gonna get a little bit of stretch before we start our workout today. Awesome. All right, grab your band. We are going to start with set one. All right, our first set, we're gonna grab that band. When I show you something, just go ahead and do it right along with me because that way you'll be ready to start when it's time. I'm gonna put that band on my legs. It's underneath my knees, but not going up under my kneecap. I'm going to get down. We do these a lot. We're gonna get down in a nice low squat. Big step. That's where I get that tension on the band. Let those, don't let those knees come in. I'm gonna pull those knees out. Then small steps. We are going in one direction for 20 seconds. And we're gonna put one of your weights in the middle, you're going in a circle. We're not gonna go in a straight line today. We're gonna to go in a circle. You're gonna feel it a little bit differently going in a circle. So make a circle, it can be a big circle, but make a circle around that weight. Then we're gonna go into rear raisers. You're familiar with those, so I'll walk you through whenever we get there, all right? So get ready. In a circle, we're all moving to the left. Get ready, three, two, one. Nice and low. Now small steps. Going in a circle. Don't go back the other way. We're staying low. Great job. Keep those knees pulled out. In a circle. Three, two, one. Break. Stand up. Shake those legs out. We're gonna go. Now we're all going in the right. Get ready, One. down, big steps, now small. Same thing, heading in that circle. Keep those knees out, don't let those knees come in. Stay low, don't switch directions. Feeling that burn. <laughs> Woo. Woo. All right, bands around your ankles. Hinge forward, soft knee at the bottom. Straight leg, we're gonna pulse that band out. Hinge forward, band out. Try to keep that toe turned down. Whoops. And as much um, tension in that band as you can. Push that stationary leg. Try to push your entire foot into the ground. Obviously, I wasn't there. I was losing my balance. Break. We're going to switch sides. Knee gets soft. You need to hold on to something. Feel free to do that. And pull that leg out, push down in, get your balance. As soon as I say that, I lose it. And pulse that leg out. Don't ever let that leg come in. Try to keep that, that pulse, I mean that tension on that band. Now you know you're set. We're gonna go back to the band walk. Sorry guys, we're repeating. Sometimes we do bands, we don't repeat. Today we're repeating. We're gonna get back down, walking to the left. Exercise. Down, big squat, walk to the left. In a circle, keep those knees out. Woo! Hello, it's a hot day for me. <laughs> but oh boy, I'm gonna be sweating with this out on. <laughs> Stay low. Three, two, one. Woo! Rest. Shake it out a little bit. Now we're going to the right. Nice low squat, six. and out to the right. Keep those knees pulled out. Don't let them collapse in. 
Should be feeling an intense burn, especially the second time around. Great job. Woo. Three, two, one. Oh my. That, um, for me, I feel the circle much more than a straight line. Three, two, one. Into the hips. Exercise seven. Knee soft, pull back. Keep that band in the back as far as you can. You can flex that foot. Activate those muscles a little bit more. Keep that as tight as you can. Three, two, one. Break. Press. We only have these next side, and then you're done with bands for a second. Three, two, one. And Exercise eight. Great job. Oops, lost my balance. Really keep that core tight. Don't bend forward with it. Three, two, one. Woo! Band is gone for a minute. We're gonna hit that Emon set. Okay, for each of these Emoms, we have a weighted exercise then a plyometric exercise. I'll give you a low impact option instead of the plyo for each one of those. This first one we're gonna do is not something that's unfamiliar. We're gonna do those goblet to deadlifts. So I'm gonna hold this weight right here. Feet are about shoulder width apart, toes facing outward. I'm gonna go down into that goblet squat, drive straight back up to those heels, drop that weight down. My knees are soft, they're not locked out, never locked. Keeping that weight close to my shins, I look straight at the ground, come back up. That's one. Now. When I do that, remember, it's always booty back first, but my knees do come forward some. See how my back and my legs, my shins are in alignment when I drive back up? What you don't want to do is this, a goblet squat like this, or even like this, but have my butt way back and I'm hinged forward because that's a lot on your back because you're going to be doing essentially a deadlift and another deadlift, all right? Remember, I want that back upright. All right, we're going to do goblet squat to deadlift, and then after that, you're doing six to eight, depending upon what number you do. I say we all do six the first round, so you get a, a feeling for it. Six to eight jump squats. So that's your, that's your option for number one. Land soft, option for number two, would be mountaintop squats. And remember, nice and speedy on those. That's your low impact option. So when she counts us down, or when I say start, we're doing six goblet squats to deadlift. You count one, one, two, two, three, three. Then we're gonna do the jump squats. Then you get a break once you're done until the next minute starts. Okay, that's what an EMOM is. Every minute you start an exercise. So we've got six of the goblet squat deadlifts. Get ready, three, two, one. You guys got extra time. So it's goblet squat, deadlift. Keep that back flat. Look at the ground, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Then I've got right into those one, two, three, four, five, six. Take a break. We've got a nice long break until we start again. If you finished up really early, take that set to eight. Go ahead and go to eight. The rest of us, we'll stay at six this round and then we'll move to eight next. Get ready. We're gonna do this again. Three. Shoulders back. One. And start. Six. Nice. One. Two. Two. Now, if you're not going to a low squat, if you're going to get these done faster, definitely take it up to eight. I lost my count. I'm going to do another one. I think that was six already. Remember to land soft on those jump squats. You want to up the challenge? 
We're going to take that next one up. We'll go to seven. If you're doing low squats that are high squats, go up to eight. Get ready. Seven and seven. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise. Keep that back tight. I'm going to do, I had to do eight. And jump squats. All right. You have one more set. Now, if you're not done yet, stop. I'm going to give you a couple seconds break. We've got one more set of these. Doing four minutes of EMOM. Get ready, we're doing eights this time. Three, two, one. And start. Exercise. Drive through the heels, back flat on those deadlifts. Now, if you're a high squatter and you're getting these done fast, feel free to go ahead and add some. I think. I'm on eight this time. If I'm not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Woo! That is working efficiently with our time. Finish this set up. Grab your band. We're going to be back on the ground with the band. Alrighty, we're just going to keep plowing. If you need a break, pause me. If not, we're going to grab that band. Let's go ahead and do this together right here. We're going back to that Tabata timing. I want to put that band under my knees. When I get down on this mat, I'm going to be in tabletop. Shoulders above wrists, um, hips above knees. I want to make sure that that band is on the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the outside leg out, just kind of like a it's called fire hydrant. I'm sure you can imagine why. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to lift that leg straight out. Try not to kick, kick those hips to the side. 20 seconds on one side, 20 seconds on the other side. So get ready. Three, two, one. We're starting with that right leg. Try to lift it out. Control on the way down. Right back up. Control on the way down. Do a nice little pause at the top. Try to get a nice pause. You should be feeling that in that Three, abductor. Two, one. Break. Rest. Just sink back. We're going to go right to the other side. Three, Come up. Get two, those, one. that body in alignment. Exercise, and to the left side. Control up. Control down. Right back up. If you can, try not to let it come all the way to the bottom. We're going to keep a little tension there. Two, now we're going to stand one, right up. Rest. Stand right up. Put that band right below your feet. Right here we're going to do marches. Trying to get that knee up as high as you can. Get ready. Three, two, one. Band up. Exercise three. Try to get those knees up. We're going back and forth. Tightening that glute in the down leg. Trying not to kick those hips side to side. Try to use those hip flexors and that quad muscle to do the work. Three, two, one. Ready? Rest. Now, think about where your leg is going. Trying to get it up to that parallel is what we're shooting Three, for. Three, two, one. And start again. Now, you know right after this, we're going to go right back down to the ground. We've got those fire hydrants again. Oops. Try to keep that core tight. Two, one. Right below your knees. And we're right back down on that tabletop again. Get in that tabletop. Oops. Get in that tabletop. Get ready. Two, one. 
And right Exercise leg down. Nine. Right. Control down. Right. Great job. Awesome. Really control. Try to do a positive Three, top. Two, one. Break. Rest. Sink back. We're going to come right back up again. We've got one more on that Three, left side. Two, one. And start. Exercise. Left side. Control down. Up. Pause. Control down. Great job. We're going right back to that standing after this. Awesome Two, job. One. Rest. Stand up. Band below your feet. Get ready. I'm going to move this out of the way now. Three, two, one. Exercise seven. Up, up. Really try to squeeze those hip flexors. Get that quad working. Pull those knees up high. This is really good anytime you're stepping up over a curve, going up and down Three, steps. Two, one. It's Rest. your hip flexors are that are responsible for the motion of your knee coming up. We want to keep those hip flexors nice and strong. Three, two, one. And start. Great job. We're almost the end of your second band set. We've only got three band sets, so you're cruising through. We got our weights again next. Three, two, one. Break. Rest. All right. Great job. Get a drink if you need to. Meet me back here for weights. Okay, for this up, we're going to do a one-sided squat, which means we're going to have the weight on one side. If you have a kettlebell, you're going to hold that kettlebell just like this. Make sure that your wrist is strong and not flat back like this. We're holding it just like that. I'm gonna hold it on one side. If not, you're gonna hold that weight on one side. Feet shoulder width apart, toes slightly facing outward. I like to kind of keep my hand here. I'm down and up. Try to get a nice low squat on that. If you're a high squatter, your number is eight to 10 on this set. If you're a high squatter, take it up to 10 at least, maybe even 12, okay? And then that is going to be followed with, you have four options for this plyo. Straight plyo is 10 jump lunges, count each side. I'm coming down, dropping that back leg. Making sure I get nice and high in between. Land with that knee low, okay? It's not this. That's like a boxer shuffle, I think we call it. Or, if you like to make it a little bit less intense, you're gonna do this with a hop in the middle and down. Again, numbers eight to 10. You're counting each leg, so it's not too bad. If any plyo is a little too much of a challenge, you can just go down, either bending your leg, tap up kick, that reverse lunge kick, you're going to do four or five on each leg, depending upon if you're doing eight, it could be four, ten, it could be five. Or if you're, your quads are just killing you, you're just doing those tap back kicks. All right, that's the least intense version. For the rest of you, jump lunges it is. All right, grab that weight. We're going to do those um, one-legged squats. We're doing right side first round, then left side, right side, left side. All right, get that weight on your right side. Get ready. Feet about shoulder width apart. Once we start, we got four minutes of work here. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice and low. Exercise. Keep that chest up. Try to get as low as you can. That's the point of this one. Core is tight. Great job. Keep those knees pulled out. Money that time. All right. Keep going if you need to. I'll tell you when to stop on this round. Stop if you're still going. So try to figure out your correct number. All right. Weight is on that left side. Now, what I was saying is about your correct number. Get ready. If I had to stop you, take that number down. So if you were doing 10 and I had to stop you, do eight this time. Three, 
I'm not sure. I use my fingers. I think I still messed up. <laughs> Woo! Feeling the jump lunges. Those are like my least favorite. I have to make myself do them. If you're not done, stop. We're back to that right side squat. If you need a longer break, pause me. If not, we're gonna keep going. We're halfway through the set. Two, one. And start. Exercise. Drive through those heels. Quads are burning. Woo! If you're still going, pause right here. Stop. We have one more set. I'm going to give you guys the jump lunges a couple extra seconds. Stretch out those legs for a second. We've only got one more set. Left side this time. Get ready, this is it. Three, two, one. And finish strong. Exercise. Breathe out on the way up. This is it, finish strong. This last couple are a challenge. Especially at those quads, what we do with the bands. Woo. All right, get your breathing in order if you're finished. If you're not done, finish up this set. There's nothing after it. We're going to band. So walk around a second, come back to me with your band. Okay, we're back to our Tabata band. We're gonna start this one together, so I'd like you to try this one with me. Put that band around your left foot, just like this. Slide your right foot all the way through, so it looks like this. Now with me, roll over onto your mat, lay down with your hips facing down. The band should be around my right ankle. My left foot has the band down underneath. Can you kind of see? I'm going to lay with my hips into the ground, my head facing down, my knees are down, and I'm pulling that right leg up. It's going to be a hamstring curl, and you should feel it pretty quickly. All right, so let's get that ready. Hips try to stay in the ground. Don't let them rock up. Ready? Three, two, one. Looking in the ground, we're Exercise. hamstring curling up, down. That other band should be kept in place by that toe. It should be wrapped around your foot. Pause at the top. Try not to let it um, to go all the way taut. One. Break? Rest. Now, I'm going to put that band around the right foot, left ankle. I can kind of maneuver it without reaching down, Three, but if you need to, two, go ahead. One. Remember, Exercise hips are on the ground, two. lift up, down, up. You should feel a good um, cramp in the back of that hammy. Pause that at the top. Depending upon how good your band is, is what your range of motion will be. Okay, now grab that band, pull it up under your knees. We're gonna do this together. Get it right up under your knees. We're gonna get down in a squat. So get ready, follow right along with me. We're down in a squat. This right leg, I'm gonna pulse out. I go up on that toe, pulse it out. Don't let it come the whole way back up in. I'm just pulsing from right here, out. Driving through this left leg. Now my quads are three, 
feeling it for sure. Right? My quads are feeling because they're dying a little bit <laughs> from that last set. Get ready. We're going to go right back down. Now, you know that left leg's going to pulse. So, Exercise my weight one. is down in that right leg, up on that toe a little, and pulse out. Great job. Now, you know what we're doing. We're back on the ground. We got those hamstring curls. Awesome. Three, Almost there. Two, one. Great. Right? Now I'm gonna give us a little bit more time. I'm gonna put that band around my foot on the left side, up over my ankle on the right side. Push that toe into the ground, get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise Make sure your hip and your knees are on the ground. I can even feel mine is coming up a little bit. Try to use that hamstring to do the work. Great job. Three, two, one. Switch sides. So now it's around your right foot. It's up over your left ankle. My right toe is pushed into the ground. Two, two one. Exercise and hamstring six. curl. Awesome. Great job. Really try to squeeze at the top without lifting Three, that hip two, up. One, rest. All right, we're back up. So give us a second. Come back up. Put that band right underneath your knees. Get ready with me. We're going to do that squat. Ready? Three, two, one. Exercise. We're down. Up on that right leg and pull out. Out. Great job, pushing this leg down. Don't let this knee move with it. See how it's stationary? It's not moving with the other leg. It's holding its own. Three, two, one. Break, Rest. shake that out. Keep that other side. Then you're completely done Three, with the band. Two, one. We're and down. So now push out. Again, this knee is stationary. It's not curling in. Great job. Fight through the burn. Burn is good. Burn is change. Three, two, one. Woo! Yes. All done with the band. You toss the band. Sometimes I'm like, is it better with the band or without the band? Okay, we are going to go back. This is our last set of EMOMs. We're on the ground. We're going to do some glute raises. Okay, for this set, we're doing those glute raises on the ground, but before I show you those, we'll just go ahead and get started with those together. I'll show you your plyo so that once we get on the ground, we can start this set. Two options are, you're gonna put that weight in the middle. We're gonna do skaters over top. The weight's just gonna make me actually do a little bit more of a hop and a lateral movement. So I go across, I'm gonna try to keep that back toe up and touch the toe um, at the bottom. So get a lateral movement and tap, tap. That's eight to 10, same as your number. Now, if that's too much, I'm eliminating that completely, and I'm gonna do that side lunge up in the middle, side lunge up in the middle, okay? That eliminates any um, impact. All right, remember when you do that side lunge, bring that booty down, okay? Get here with me, we're gonna start this set together. So, lay down on your mat. Touch the back of your heels so that you're sure they're in underneath your knees. We don't want them out here. When I'm in right underneath my knees, I'm gonna grab that weight and put that on my right side. Now watch me here. I'm gonna drive through my heels, pull my knees out, then I'm gonna pulse. 10, take it right over the other side, 10. And then I'm gonna hop up and do those, sorry, eight to 10. And then I'm gonna hop up and do those eight to 10 skaters. All right, this is it. This is your last set. Let's finish strong here. So get that weight on your right side. Pull those feet in, get ready. Three, two, one. Exercise. Drive through those heels, pull those knees out. Remember, switch sides at 10, just a pulse. If you're doing this and you're feeling tension in your low back, try to um, not go up quite as high, but squeeze those glutes a little more. All 
All right, on those glue raises, those glute bridges, squeeze those glutes. Really try to pulse up. Like I said, if you're feeling it in your back, don't push up as high, but squeeze your glutes a little more. So get that weight ready. Pull those heels in. We're gonna drive through those heels. Pull those knees apart. Three. 10 good pulses on one side, then 10 on the other. Exercise. Oh, I'm gonna do this one for you guys. If you're doing those high lunges, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, get ready. Wait on that right side. Do good pulses at the top. Pause for a second this time. You probably have a little bit more time. Three, so make two, those pulses one. a little less fast. Exercise. Remember to pause at the top a second. takes a second or so longer and it really makes it more effective. Okay, this time we have nothing afterwards. We're going to do full all the way to the ground, all the way top. So 10, all the way down, all the way up, 10 pulse. 10, all the way down, all the way up, 10 pulse. Three, two, one, exercise. Your last set, so all the way down, all the way up. Nice pause at the top. Five, if you're really ahead of me, six, slow it down. Seven, eight, nine, 10, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch sides, down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Finish up your 10 and you are completely done with this workout. I'll move that over. <laughs> okay, if you're doing the side lunges, they take a little bit longer. Yay! Awesome workout, we worked hard, fast and furious. Got your workout done, your legs should be feeling it. Let's grab that loop band. We're gonna stretch out. Okay, I am going to try to keep this to like a seven minute stretch. If you are short on time, go ahead and skip out. But if you're looking for something longer, just try to grab one of our stretching videos. Okay, let's grab these arms, reach straight up. I'm gonna focus on legs today. Not a lot of upper body. Let's drop down and sink down and look between your legs. Nice deep breaths. Now grab those ankles, get down in that squat. Take those elbows and open those hips up. Let's get a nice stretch here. Try to push those heels down into the ground. Don't let them come up. Now lean slightly to the left, keeping that heel down. Slightly to the right, keeping that heel down. Back to the left and back to the right. Walk out onto that mat. We're gonna get down into that tabletop. Quickly, we're gonna open up those shoulder blades up and down. Now, let's bring that right leg up. 
We're gonna put that here. I'm gonna put my hand here. My hand is right beside that right foot. Grab underneath and open up. Keep that, that knee from coming in with that shoulder. Come back down. We're gonna switch sides. We're gonna go down into that down dog. Pedal those heels back and forth, just like this. Really push that heel down. Now we're gonna go back down to that tabletop. Bring that left leg over. I'm going to take that right hand underneath. Keep that left hand right by that left foot and open up. Now we're going to come up, tighten up that glute in that right leg as tight as you can get it and lean forward. We're going to try to stretch out that hip flexor. We use that hip flexor a lot today. Release that, step out, try to get a nice stretch on the front of that hip. Nice deep breath. When you breathe out, try to sink further down into a stretch. Heel down, toe up. My back is going to be straight and I'm gonna hinge forward. No rounding the back. Keep that back straight and hinge forward. You should feel a nice stretch out on the back of that hamstring. We wanna hit that hamstring. We were working the hamstring hard today too. Now bring that leg back up. If you can, we're gonna grab that foot. If not, use your loop band. You can use that loop band and put it underneath that foot, that toe, and bring it up that way. Now, we're gonna pull that toe back towards its shin and flex that foot, you should feel a little bit different stretch. <clears throat> Release that, pull this leg in, and let's stretch out that hip, sink down into this. Lay over top of that leg, and get a nice little stretch here. Nice deep breath, when you breathe out, sink further down in. Go to the center. What if you guys are all traveling this week, or if you guys are hosting this week, that leg around we are hosting but not really <laughs> very small family to host <laughs> pull that leg around we're gonna grab a hold of that with the other arm pull that hip back towards me and I'm gonna rotate those shoulders nice deep breath pulling that leg towards me now this right leg's gonna go up left leg's gonna go back I'm gonna take that that left leg and squeeze that glute as tight as I can and lean forward Squeezing that glute at the end of a leg workout. Sometimes it's hard to squeeze the glute. It's funny how that works, but release that step forward. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't get that glute squeezed. <laughs> what is going on? It's normal. Don't feel like there's something wrong. Heel down, toe up, hinge forward. It's not uncommon. Now, either with the loop band, grabbing underneath that foot, or grab that with your, your hand. We're going to pull that. We want to stretch out the front of that quad. Pull that toe towards the shin, flex that foot, get a little deeper stretch there. Now drop that foot down. We're going to pull this leg in and sink down over this leg. Take a nice deep breath, breathe out. When you breathe out, sink down into that stretch a little bit more. Go out to the outside and to the inside. Bring that leg around. Take that inside hand and pull it back. Now, let's put those feet slightly on the outside of our hips. Sit up nice and tall and drop those knees in. Do that about three times on either side, trying not to really rotate my whole body. Just trying to drop that leg to the inside. Sit up nice and tall, bring those feet in, sit up as tall as you can. Try to keep that back straight and hinge forward. If your back is straight, there shouldn't be a ton of movement. Now, you can tell if your hips are tight by how open this is. Sometimes, sometimes my legs are up here more, sometimes they're down more. It just depends on what I've been doing and I'm a little tight today. Okay, right leg's gonna go out. My left leg's gonna go on top. We're gonna open up that hip again. Now pull this leg in. This is really, really good for your hips. So, so really think about getting this completely. Sometimes I feel like people rush through this one and don't really follow it. 
but I want to straight back. The two important parts of this are straight back. If I'm hunched over, I'm not going to feel it. Straight back and flex that top foot. Now move the booty in. Keep the back straight. A hinged or a rounded back is not going to get that, that hip um, stretched. I need a straight back. You should feel a good stretch in this hip. Switch sides. Left leg's out. I'm opening up that right hip. Same thing. Don't rush through this this time. Really think about doing those two things. Straight back, um, flex that top foot. So sit up nice and straight. Straight back, proud chest. Flex that top foot, move that booty towards that foot. Get a nice stretch there. Awesome. Now, all we have to do is do this last stretch and you're all done. So grab that right foot with that loop band. Make sure not to bring that toe back towards you and pull that leg back. We're gonna get the back of that hamstring. You should probably already be feeling it. Take that to the outside. And toe to the inside. Drop that ankle on your knee. Pull back towards you. Got a good stretch there in that hip. Drop that foot down, let that knee fall to the side. Reach out. Nice deep stretch as you breathe out. Just try to get that knee a little bit closer to the ground, that shoulder a little bit closer to the ground. Take that to the other side and get that side stretched out. That's gonna get that so as the hip flexor. Hip flexor is made up of several muscles, but your psoas is a hip flexor muscle when you hear people talk about that. Pull that left leg back. And if you are listening, you remember that hip flexors are responsible, take that to the outside, for lifting your knee up. So if you feel pain in your back, turn that toe to the center, drop to the center. When you stand, a lot of times when you're sitting, those hip flexors are shortening. They're, they're in a, um, a shortened, uh, position and as you stand up if they're really really tight pull that and put that knee on your ankle or <laughs> put that ankle on your knee and pull back towards you um, they're in that shortened state when you stand up we're stretching them out they're attached they run right down the front of your leg but they go around and attach into your back and so if you feel back pain it's because as you stand up and they get stretched they're putting a lot of tension in that back Foot down, let that knee fall to the side and reach out. So abductors are the things that you feel on the outside of your legs, like when we do the band work and you feel that burn on the outside of your hips. Um, hip flexors are more like when we're doing the quad raises and the marches and um, high knees, that's more of the hip flexor. Reach those arms straight out. Oh. And we're gonna sit up and chest fall over those legs. Just round that back a little bit and just relax. Now roll up and just pull those arms straight back, straight up, and do that W pulling them back. All right, awesome job with leg day. Great start to your week.